sounds terrible. Yeah, he's been like that since the swamp. Swamp? You guys were in a swamp? Yeah. It was dark and swampy. I wasn't scared at all. Is this why you guys came home so fast? No, we came home because the alien died. And because the uh, glowing sword turned out to be a, a, a glowing key. Yeah, a glowing key that can still stab people. Right. So it is a sword. just happens to function like a key in very specific situations. Or it's a key all the time, and when you stick it in people, it unlocks their death. God damn, man, I would love to live in your world for about ten minutes. Yeah. I have a really good time. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. You know, I don't think I get anything done, but I probably wouldn't care that much. Uh, I bet I have better vitals than you. What's a vital? I'm not gonna get married. My dad always said, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Okay. Church is trying to get a translator so that we can talk to each other. Tucker. The enormous alien doesn't speak our language. Speaking slowly is not going to help. What? I'm talking to Caboose. Oh. I don't understand. Are, are, are you hungry? Tucker, are you hungry? Are you cold? What? No. Do you need a blanket? Tucker, do you want some hot dogs in a blanket? Damn it. No, Caboose, I'm not cold. I don't want a hot dog. And if you put mustard in my fucking sheets again, I'm going to kill you. You don't suppose that sword is making him sick, do you? I don't see how. It hit his sneeze once. We don't know anything about it, though. Maybe it runs on radiation and it's poisoning it. Or maybe it runs on solar power. Wait, no, why would solar power make him sick? Is he a Republican? I think Blarg meets Blarg. me Blarg. or Blarg. apples. Blarg. Guys, apples Blarg. must be Blarg. the name of his cat. Blarg. Quick, quick, Blarg. Is, is apples Blarg. stuck in a tree? Blarg. I will call the fire department. Caboose? I can't. Well, why not? Oh, because uh, I am allergic to things that I don't want to do. <coughs> Coffee. Okay, just more fun for me. I am Tucker. This is Church. That's Bitch Pants McCrabby. Hey, well that's what we call you. Not me. I call you Mrs. McCrabby. Thanks. So how are you doing, Caboose? Are you following any of this whatsoever? I think so. That guy Tex is really a robot, and you're his boyfriend. So that makes you a gay robot. Yeah, that's right. I'm a gay robot. I've been working out, you know. Dumbbells, push-ups, crunches. What? Eddie? Eddie? What happened to you? Rapido, antes de que se vuelvan, cabe un agallero y entierme, por favor. Eddie! You turned into a real boy! You see, Andy, now we can go fishing, and you don't have to be the bait anymore, and we can hiking, and we can go camping, and you don't have to be the fire anymore, and we can ride it together, and now we can hold hands, and we can fly kites, and we can play tag, and we can drink horse juice together. Hey, Caboose! You hear something behind you! I do? I wonder what's causing it. Double yoink. Andy? Oh my god! Eddie! You're dead! How did this happen? You were so young! You had so much to live for! So much exploding to do! Your friend is... Dying? Oh no. No, he's not dying. He just has... No chance to live. I knew it. Caboose? One more interruption out of you, and he's going to have two patients. A.I. What's the A stand for? Artificial. What's the I? Uh... Intelligence. Oh, what was the A again? Let's move on. Uh, maybe we should uh, have the doctor explain uh, just how babies are made, you know, uh, in case someone in the group uh, may not exactly know how that happened. I'm a pacifist. You're a thing that babies suck on. No, dude, that's a pedophile. Tucker, I think he means a pacifier. Oh, yeah, right. Man, I was totally thinking about something else. You're not, Church. Church is blue. You're white. I've come back from the dead to give you a warning about text. Don't let
but what's the warning? Shut up for one second and I'll tell you. Okay, here's the deal. Is this the warning? All right, that's it. I swear to God, Caboose, your ass is haunted. When we're done here, I'm going to haunt you. Okay. Uh, the two red ones are walking away. Uh, but the purple one is... I think it's going to attack. I'll bet they've used some kind of brainwashing technique on him. They're, they're probably planning to have him do all their very plans. And also the schemes. Caboose, that is ridiculous. Is it? Or is it so ridiculous? It's the most ridiculously perfect idea that you never thought of. Hey guys, uh, do you think I could come hang out at your base for a while? I knew it. We're all gonna die. Starting with you. When it's Tucker, it's contagious. I do not want to catch pregnancy. Get behind the rock. They can still see you. They can't see me. I can't see them. That's because you're facing the rock. Oh, right. And are you sure about this thing? Absolutely. He has not tried to bite me at all. <laughs> Since he bit me the first time. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I think I might need a tetanus shot. <laughs> all I hear is that boy, you know, telling us to kill all of our friends before they have a chance to kill us. What, you guys not hear that? Hey, Church, we have a problem. I am not your mother. So don't come tattling to me every time one of you does something that the other one doesn't like. I'm telling you, he's crazy. He keeps threatening me and talking in a scary voice. No, I didn't. Oh, so you're saying you didn't threaten to cut off my head and give it to church as a birthday present? You know, I think you're taking my words a little out of context. What? What context? Don't ever be alone. He's doing that thing again. I'm the one that's the least visible. So I'm going to head up here to higher ground. I'll keep an eye on the red base. If I see anything, I'll let you know. Great. I'll come with you. That kind of defeats the purpose, Caboose. Okay. What if I'm really, really quiet? Do you even understand what the term visibility means? Uh, <laughs> uh, good one, sir. Seriously. You don't know what it means, do you? Uh, no. I have an idea. I have an idea! Yeah, we heard you the first time, Caboose. We were just ignoring you. Since you possessed that red guy and took control of him, why don't you just possess your own body? Oh, I see. So, that way I would be living inside of my own dead body. Yes. Unable to move. Just laying there, rotting in the sun for all eternity. Yes. Okay, Caboose. I'll be sure to get right on that. I think you are a mean ghost. Get over it. You're already dead. What's the worst that can happen now? Hey, church! Look! Birds! Why are they flying around in circles? Oh, God. I should've known. She didn't like me. Girls never like me. Caboose, I don't think anybody likes you. I like me. You don't even know how they talk. What if their language isn't entirely verbal? What? It could be part telepathic. Or via smells. Oh, no, it's via smells, and you should be fluent in the language already. Oh, jackass. Oh, shut up, you're not helping. Wait, I think Tucker might be right. I think he might be saying things telepathically. I just heard something in my head. What? What was it? It was a voice saying, Blarg, 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 hog. That wasn't in your head, Caboose. He just said that. You're just so dumb, you're lagged a few seconds behind us. By the time your brain figures out what it's heard, it feels like it's already happened. That's not true. Wait! <laughs> I hear something else in my head. It must be apples trying to communicate with me. Quick, Tucker, get a ladder!